So, like I said in my other video earlier today, uh, my visit to the train show, today we were getting a bonus video. It is actually part two, or a, uh, it's not actually part two, because I didn't, I did not specify in the first video that there would be a part two. But I am revisiting it because I have a new uh, locomotive from Athern that I can do the full upgrade to, so I'm going to videotape the whole process. What I'm going to do is take the annoying metal clip out of my Athern DC locomotive, place it some water, some wire, and it actually tremendously increases the reliability of the motor. Um, and I've done it to every single one of my Athen engines that have come in. So if you give me a second, I'll set up the camera on the tripod and we will videotape the whole process. So this is my new purchase. It's a Southern, Pac Southern Pacific F7 locomotive picked up at the train show this morning. And I have not opened it yet. This is the first I am opening it. This right here is a little metal clip that I'm talking about getting rid of. So it's gone. The other thing I'm going to do at a later date is replace this with an LED. So in the meantime, it's out. What I have left is the motor, the flywheels, the electrical pickups. There is good continuity between the motor and the frame, so I'm not worried about messing with that. But I am going to take a second to put a brass, brass, I can't talk today apparently, uh, brass wheel in my Dremel, and I'm going to clean up this brass real quick. And then uh, scuff up the new pickups right there with the uh, same brush on my Dremel. Just give me a good connection when I solder. Hang on a sec, it might get a little loud. I do recommend that anytime you work with a Dremel, you have safety glasses on. So you don't need a ton of tools to do this. Um, all you really need is a soldering iron, some wire cutters, wire stripper, a little bit of flux, obviously you need some solder, and some wire. What I actually have here is um, scrap 22 gauge wire that's going to strip and crimp or sorry strip and tin the end of the wire just to make my life a little easier you don't need strippers as fancy as these these are strippers I've had since I was in the military they are fantastic do a great job and you use what you like I'm going to take my little handy helper here, put the wire in a spot that's easy to help, grab a little bit of solder, my soldering iron, put a little solder on the tip, and tin the wires. So now that we've done that, get the handy helper out of the way. Go 
going to take just a tiny bit of flux. Found a good use for a little piece we removed. A tiny bit of flux on the surface where we're going to solder. Always remember to clean off the flux afterwards. It is an oxidizer. Going to take our solder, soldering iron again. Build ourselves a little solder pad. Try not to keep the heat on the brass on the motor too long. So it's not good for it, you will cause some damage. Now that I've done that, it's just a matter of putting the wires in. I'm trying to do this without blocking the camera. These wires are actually purposely a little longer than I normally do. Because I'm going to be using part of it in later on when I do the LED lighting upgrade. The big thing right now to make sure I can still put the weight back on which I will be able to. Always remember to turn your soldering iron off. Make sure when you fold your wire down it doesn't interfere with the flywheel. Put your weight back on. You put your cab back on. And that's it. That's how simple it is. And you'll see a huge difference in how well your locomotive runs on the track. Um, the problem with these is as your motor goes, you get intermittent contact between this and your pickups. So that's why I replace them. So I will clean this up, put it back together, and we can take it down to the track and we will let it run a little. Here he comes on the track.